Hi everyone, this is Kathy Koliakovo with socialforbusiness.com, your live and online social media training resource center for small business owners and entrepreneurs. Welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps to enable you the new Facebook timeline on your personal Facebook profile. This is something that changed recently with Facebook in early October and it's being rolled out, the new timeline is, to Facebook users over time, but if you want to go in and manually add it and activate the timeline, you can do as well. So that's what we're going to do today. First off, I just want to say thank you to Margie Geyser. She's one of my clients located in Prescott, Arizona, and she did not have the new timeline set up, so she's allowed me to go in and connect that through as a demo for you all to see. So we're going to be watching it as we change one of these live for someone online. So thanks again to Margie, and just to introduce her to everyone, her name, or Margie is a business coach for health and fitness professionals, and she helps her clients jumpstart their own fitness business, or health business as well, and boost it up. She gives them a lot of coaching and support work so that they can build the business of their dreams. You can find her online at facebook.com slash meg.enterprises. And that's the Facebook page we see here. So let's get started and get our timeline. First thing I want you to do is go and log into your Facebook and click on your name to go to your home page or to your profile page, sorry. And this is what your page looks like now. This is going to change once we switch to the new Facebook timeline. So be prepared for a, a very different look once you get in there. So what you're going to do is actually open a second account or a second tab in your browser and we're going to, I'm going to have to do it here because I've moved this on the top and I can't get in there. Where I want you to go is to a link called developers.facebook.com slash apps. That's A-P-P-S. So Adam Peter Peter Samuel. And when you go in there, some cases people may have already been given the permission to Facebook to allow access to this app, which is the case here with Margie. But if you haven't, you'll get the screen in the middle that says allow access, you know, allow this access to your Facebook information. So you just want to click the allow button. When, when you do, you're going to come into this section here. And the button that you want to hit, no matter what the words or the information you see here, will be the create new app button and you're just going to give it a, a name so you can call it anything that you want to I'm going to call it Margie's timeline and then you need to give it a space name which has to be at least seven characters or more so usually what I do is I just go backwards with the name to get something in there make sure it's available as long as it is you want to click that you agree to the Facebook policies and hit the submit button. It's going to make you go through a little check to make certain that you're a real person. Hopefully I'm going to pass this here. And then you're going to come to the next page, which is your new application that you've just set up within Facebook. So you can see I've got the name of it here is the timeline. And all I want you to do here when you come in is over on the left hand side there's a button, a menu item called Open Graph. So I want you to click Open Graph. And to get started you have to define an action and an object for your app. So people can see a book. You can put whatever you want in here, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then just hit the Get Started button. I know that part doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but you just have to define an action for your application. In this case, it's a timeline, so it really doesn't matter what words that you put into this. And then you just have to wait a second for the Get Started to set your application up. Hopefully this will work for us here today. And once we get that going... Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. So now that we've got this part of it going, what I want you just to do is to scroll down to the bottom of the page here. Oh, my mouse is sliding around. 
There's all sorts of information in there and I just want you to do nothing on this page except scroll down to the bottom, hit Save Changes and Next. And then you're going to come up with another screen here once this has saved. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go right down to the bottom and click the button that says Save Changes and Next. So again, here we go. Just right down to the bottom, Save Changes and Next. and now you have got this set up so once we've done this part here then all I want you to do is go check down hit save and finish and then I want you to go back to your Facebook profile page so you'll just have to type in facebook.com sometimes it takes a few minutes for this to take effect and you can see here it's it's going to change it here for you so oh look they're actually offering it to Margie right at the moment here <laughs> isn't that hilarious so they're actually offering it right to her now um, I'm just gonna leave that for a second because what I want to just show you yeah actually we're gonna have to go in here we're gonna hit get it now just so that you can see because this will, is what will happen after you wait a couple minutes anyhow. So now you've got the new timeline. So this is now what we're going to see when you click your name on that uh, top right hand side of your Facebook account. This will be your new timeline. It's got your basic information here, some other information with regards to your profile and this is stuff that um, I just went over in the free webinar that we did so I'm not going to repeat all that because you can review all this now that you have it set up and in there and you can get it all set up yourself and follow along with the video to see how to use everything that's in here. Um, I also recommend Facebook is really good if you take these tours of information that you've got you will be able to see what's happening um, and it will walk you right through the steps so that's always helpful to do one of the things that um, you can do or not is you'll have the option of publishing this now so do you want other people to be able to see your timeline at the moment if you do you can hit publish now I recommend going through the tour part if you don't and it looks like um, because hers has actually gone through and put it in there automatically it will go live on Friday October 21st so it usually does give you a date on that but doing it the way that we did if we'd waited for the step and I didn't hit the button so you could see it here then you would be given that option as well to hit the publish now button so that is how you can enable the new Facebook timeline on your profile and uh, I wish you all the best in using the new system and having lots of fun in maneuvering around and navigating it and seeing what you can find out about yourself and what uh, you know what you've done in the past and looking forward to using it in the future and I wish everyone all the best with it of course anytime you have any questions feel free to find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash time on task VA and you can learn more about our social media training programs at www.socialforbusiness.com that's s-o-c-i-a-l number four business.com have a great day and enjoy your new timeline